I think one of the most popular exploits or ways to get into a company today, if you look at all the new latest cyber attacks, is definitely the art of social engineering, manipulating someone to do what they want, that they think they want to do, uh, in order to get into the uh, endpoints, into the infrastructure. Uh, what they're lacking is really the ability to detect and respond cyber attacks in a very quick uh, manner. On average, it takes 200 days till a cyber attack is detected by an organization. 200 days, which is simply not acceptable if you think about the damage a hacker or a nation state could do to that company, to that organization. And that's why it's so essential that an organization is able to detect a cyber attack, not within 200 days, but ideally in real time. We need to understand that the cloud, and part of the cloud computing, is the enabler when it comes to cybersecurity. It was the first breakthrough because now we are able to correlate so many different sensors and data points so that we are actually able to understand how cyber attacks are happening, not just within one single organization, but abroad and internationally. So only the cloud can, able, can do that for us. And then if you think about machine learning coming in on, on the cloud computing aspect, it's just mind blowing how we're able to detect and respond to cyber attacks because of the cloud. I think when it comes to cyber security, it's always a catch up, right? It's always a competition between cyber criminals and the good guys, essentially, right? So there is no company, there's no organization will say, come up with us and you will be 100% secure. The real partner you want to select is a partner that says, let's work together on a comprehensive cyber security strategy so that you're able to really have strong measurements in place to protect you against cyber attacks. But when they happen, and they will happen, that you're able to detect and respond to those cyber threats in a very quick manner. When you look into the evolution of cybercrime, it really started with the Windows XP time window, where we start having those script kitties trying to hack into the computer of the parents, into the uh, computers at school and so on. But pretty much because of the digitalization and everybody's connected, organized crime got interested. So to give you a particular example there, the ransomware industry is now worth $2 billion year over year. In Romania, as an example, there is a small village that has the nickname Hacker Valley. Hacker Valley has become famous because they understood, the people understood, it's easier to learn how to create, like start a cyber attack than to go after real jobs. So there are more hackers in Hacker Valley than actual legit workers. And then what we saw as the next logical step was nation state attacks. So we now have countries fighting each other in the internet because they understand that it's a, uh, a cheaper from an economical standpoint and B, it's easier to hide in the internet than having an F-16 jet flying over a combat area. I think because of the benefits of cloud computing, we will now go the next evolutional step of artificial intelligence. So we are actually working already in our labs to understand how we can use AI uh, in combination with machine and deep learning on our cloud platform. So that not only we can warn our customers when they have been breached, but already put remediation in place so that essentially you don't have to worry, quote unquote, when you get hacked, but that when we show you an alert about a cyber attack that is already remediated for you. I think that's a, one of the biggest investment areas right now when it comes to cybersecurity.